Hello everyone! For today's video, finally magpapa bike fit na tayo sa one of the best bike fitters in the Philippines, which is si Sir Frederick Ilagan. Uh, siya lang din yung only bike fitter na may level 4 certification sa International Bike Fitting Institute. And siya lang din yung Steve Hogg approved bike fitter dito sa Pilipinas. What I love about him is also he's so passionate about his uh, work. So, uh, wag na natin padagaling yung bata. Wagin na natin si Sir Fred Ilagan. Yan. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Kunwari, akin tong lakor. Hello po. Ayan. So, hello, so Fred. Ayan. Hello, everyone. Ayan. Ayan. So, yun. Nabanggit sa akin kasi ni Sir Fred kanina na ano lang tayo. Kung ano lang yung usual na ginagawa ni Sir Fred, um, yun lang din yung Eva vlog natin for today. So, magsistart na tayo sa unang process nung by fitting niya, which is yung... Yeah. So the first process that we're going to do right now is the interview. So, gusto ko dito lang yung casual lang. Uh, gusto ko uh, kung paano ako magtrabaho every day. Yeah. That's what you see. Okay, so I do my fits starting with an interview para I get to know more about you, your goals, your injuries, uh, your uh, what issues do you have on the bicycles, and many other stuff. Then after the interview, uh, we'll head on with a physical assessment. So I'll have to learn more about your body by measuring your body. Then after that, if I see that they have to align the body, we'll do a physical, uh, we'll do a body alignment. Plus, we'll do a mobility and flexibility restoration to make sure you're that you're more flexible, you have a better mobility before I get you riding the bicycle. Okay, okay. okay. So, so excited na ako. Uh, ito na, ang tagal ko rin hinintay itong bike fit na to. And then no problem, kasi <laughs> understood naman na maraming, um, Appointment si Sir Fred and buti na pagbigyan na to. Si Elsa ang ipapabike fit natin for today. Elsa? Yes! May name so siya Elsa. Yeah! Hindi <laughs> 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 ko pa nalalabas yung bike vlog ko as of now. Pero malalaman nyo bakit Elsa. <laughs> the dare, what mod of dare is this? Um, dare TCR. TSRF! Diyos ko. <laughs> Nung bike build ko, TC ako na TC. Yes, <laughs> magagalit na sa akin yung dare. <laughs> Sorry. I think this is the one, two, three, four. Parang two for the past two weeks. And then like, there. There. Can I dare you? Yeah. Like, wow. Dare nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ano? But I think this is the first one na ma uh, dare first triathlon bike yeah. frame na yeah. dare na ma ano? Kasi um, ako palang chaka dalawa palang yun dare na nasa Philippines na yeah. na dare T S R F. Yeah. I think, yeah, this is the first there na uh, TV bike that I'll be working yes. on. Yes. Very beautiful bike. Yes, honestly. so good. I love it. All right, so riding profile, it's competitive. Yeah, competitive. Right. So, how many kilometers or how many months have you been riding this bike for me? Um, first ride ko actually sa kanya is one, like 100 km po ako na indoor. Which oh. is very mal... mal yan. Di, tsaka, hindi. Doon ko yung nalaman lahat ng sakit, okay, naramdaman ko. But, but that's around February or March kasi. And nito ko lang siya nalabas um, sa BGC. So that's Siguro. when you sent me the, the photos? Yeah, the, the photos na. Sa BGC, nandun na napakita ko na kay Sir Fred yung angle, kung ano yung position ko sa bike. Pero very mild lang. And then recently, na, um, sa Silex. So I have a video. Uh, doon ako nag-first official ride, which is na gamit ko talaga siya ng dere-dere show. How long was it? The... Mm, around 40 km. 40 km. So, all in all, you vlog probably around... Uh, less than 200. Two, less yeah, than less two than 200 km. Okay. Kasi uh, I, I prefer it that way. Kasi minsan, I have clients coming in na... Uh, as in, they haven't really ridden the bike yet. So, oh, sakit. Nice. Para, I, 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 like, I like it na before they bring the bike to me, um, medyo kilala na nila yung bisikila. Medyo kilala. Uh, alam na nila ako ano yung mga niggles, alam yeah. na nila ano yung mga issues that they have on the bike. Para it's easier for us to solve whatever problems they have yeah. on the bike. So, so it's good that you able to ride this bicycle na. So, And okay. naram, ano na, nakuha ko na kung ano yung masakit. Kasi yung pinahirapan ko talaga yung sarili okay. ko. So what are the problems, issues that you have on the bicycle when you're riding? More on the upper body. Upper body. Upper, uh, so upper body specifically. Uh, shoulder. Shoulder. Is it left and right shoulder? Uh, halos both eh. Okay. Tapos parang, I don't, I don't know lang po Sir Fred if dahil 100km, that hindi fitted siya that time. Mm -hmm. um, 
Sobrang bu- parang buong katawan ko. Yung parang kala mo yung nag-workout ako na nagbuhat ako. Yes. Parang ganun yung feeling. Kasi 100km, indoor pa. Which is very tiring. Tapos... Is this your first time to, I mean, ride a time trial bike? Or yes, time? yes. Okay. This is my first time. So your body is still undergoing an adaptation period. Yes. Since your body is used to pedaling, on the road position, yes, yes. yes you're on the TT bike, you're di- basically using different muscle groups. So there will be an adaptation period that you have to go into. Para lang, yes. At first, medyo, it will feel weird, but eventually, <laughs> minsan I see some people na once they get to ride time trial bike, para ay nila bumalik sa road bike, sabi bilis eh. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. Um, recently, last Tuesday pala, na-ride ko siya sa yes. MOA. Uh-huh. Uh, ano lang po, medyo zone, zone 2 lang. Okay, that's good. But, uh, siguro pakita ko rin sa inyo yung video later. Para I have an na, idea. Na, nabilog ko naman siya, but that time kasi, hindi ko pa siya na-ride nung pinalitan ko na yung um, um, crank car. Oh, with the, one, with the shorter one. So, okay, with regards to that kasi, before, uh, one, pinakita ko na kasi kay Sir Fred, uh, 155. Yes po yung crank arm ko and then he suggested and mamaya malalaman natin why he suggested na 145 yes. yung crank arm ko by the way thanks to Crowder sa uh, pa, uh, for providing the 145 uh, millimeters na crank yeah. arm which is dito sa Philippines sila lang yung alam kong uh, madaling makakuha, makakuha ng ganong size yeah. lalo na sa mga short people like me yeah, thanks yeah. Crowder yeah, yeah always send them our clients and Champ by PH Yes. Yeah, kay Champ, salamat din kasi sobrang dali ka usap. Yes. So, uh, we have upper body, shoulder, overall body aches, pains. Now, I'm gonna ask some questions. Do you have any numbness in your toes? Toes? Wala. Okay, arc pain, heel pain, ankle pain? Do you have any? Wala naman. Okay, how about knee pain? Did you ever experience any knee pain? Wala naman. Alright. Soreness in the quads and hamstrings, it will be normal since it's your first time to ride yes. a tri bike. So, basically, feeling mo parang yung quads mo is overloaded. And like before, yes, na, yes. the glutes and the hamstrings are working together with mm-hmm. the quads. Okay, so how about uh, pressure in the private area? Do you experience any discomforts? So far, dun talaga sa unahan ko yung nandaman hindi ko na masadong matandaan ko ngayon. Okay, no problem. We'll check Pero... it later. Okay, how about on the hip, in the sit bone? Wala naman. Um, recently, para right in, hip. Ah, uh, masakit. So Kasi ito lang yung masadong nalalay ko the past few days. Eh. So. I won't go home that yeah. Earlier, I was looking at your bias. I was expecting you to say that you have a right hip pain and a right lower back pain. Because mm-hmm. I'll show you later. If you look at the bicycle, you, your saddle is tilted towards the right like this. Tabi ni yung saddle mo. So okay. that will push you to ride more on the left like okay. this. So pulling on the right lumbar area and the hip area. Kaya possible mo karong kana strain don yeah. when you're riding. Okay? Then next question: How about lower back pain? Meron. Lower back. Is it the whole lower back or is it one side only? More on left side. Good. How about the thoracic area? That's the mid back area. Sorry, is that the bit? Mid back. Dita. Yeah, hold well, on. Okay, now upper back. I- yes, that's the scapula. Do you have discomfort? Yes. Yeah, I, I was expecting you to say that because it will put most of your weight on the left side of the bicycle when I observe the saddle position. Medyo na kaya nung kaya kaya it's normal for you to have uh, discomforts on the left side of your upper back. Yeah. How about the cervical, the neck area? Do you have any discomforts? Yeah, kasi minsan nagagano na ako eh. Okay. Uh, Miski, during the ride, parang after ko ng ganun position, parang gagano na ako tapos gagano. Okay. Somehow, uh, medyo, yun niya, since it's your, it, this will be your first time to ride a time trial bike, uh, it will be normal na manini bago. Like mm-hmm. you're, if you're used to riding in a more upright yeah. position, okay. relax yung upper back mo. Pero once you go into the aero position, mababago yung angle ng spine mo. Uh, it will take some a few rides to adapt on the new riding style or the riding position of a time trial bike. And hopefully, uh, once we fit you, it will be easier for you to adapt para mas ma-enjoy mo yung bicycle. Okay? Okay. So, triceps, the elbow, the forearm, wala naman. Dito? Yes. Yes. Um, because of the position, yes. I think. Dito. Alright. Na... And then hand pressure, hand numbness, whatever. Wala naman. Okay, good. Now, the next question is, do you have any chronic pains on your body? This is not cycling related. This is something that you feel when you're not riding the bicycle. Let's say you're just sitting down at home, 
or driving or going to the mall, do you experience any strange or stuff? Nothing na hindi na na makakaapekto sa normal. Wala naman. That's very good. Other activities besides cycling, do you swim? Do you run? Um, medyo matagal na nung nagduathlon ako, eh, 2019. So, I do running also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But as of now, it's more of cycling. Yeah, okay. more of after nung nag-pandemic, hindi na ako nakatakbo okay. pa ulit. Alright, next question is, how many hours do you train or do you ride your bicycle in a week? Um, ano po yung duration? This year? Oh, no, this a whole past six uh, average months? week lang naman. Ah, ngayon? Yes. Medyo mababa kasi ngayon. It's okay, um, no worries. Let's say it's eight, six to eight hours a week. That's good. Honestly, it's normal lang this, after, especially yeah. during the pandemic since there's no event. Mm-hmm. It's important that you get to maintain the fitness level. Yes. Lang, build up. I don't see any point na magbaka taas tate. Yeah. Magpipik ka na maaga na wala ka na wala makarera. Na yeah, sayang lang. Yeah, so the best thing to do is just do uh, workouts to just to maintain your current fitness I have level. a structured plan kasi yung sinusunod. Parang yung software fest. Ah, that's so good. So dun, more wow, of, uh, that's hard. <laughs> software fest. <laughs> yeah, software fest. Um, Dami. Hindi lang ako, hindi ko lang nasunod nga ngayon kasi nga nagpavaccine ako. Pero yes. at least para sabi ko ma-maintain kasi um, labas na sa vlog. Ano, yung kasi nagbablog ako, tapos hindi ko na na-maintain yung lag- lagi akong nakakalabas ng ride. Yes. Well, aside from pandemic. Yes. Parang, yes. Sabi ko kay nang chill lang daw. Oh, Ikaw chill always demo client. Hindi kasi eh. pag nag Oh, I mean, pag when it comes to me, pag nagba-vlog, syempre parang mas maganda kung hindi ako na kumakalas. <laughs> so, yun yun. <laughs> yun yung current motivation ko yes. na wag kumalas sa grupo. So, yes. nagpapalakas ako habang wala pang race. Yes. <laughs> yun. Oh, maganda rin. Eh, ako sa. Kaya ako ay ride solo eh. <laughs> yun yun. Kasi may init sila pag sinyaya uh, nila ako. <laughs> Right, Depende next. sa kasama. Minsan ka peride. Yeah, I prefer doing yeah. that. <laughs> Now, next question. Have you ever had any history of surgery? Hindi, mm, wala po. Good. Have you worn any orthodontics like braces in your mouth? Mouth, yes. Yes. Um, How about extractions from the dentist? Uh, who? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I have to ask this kasi everything has an effect. An oh. effect on your central nervous system. Okay. Yes. Ito okay. po. Ay, isa akong... Okay, that's good. Now, Uh, can you please look straight to me to check your jaw alignment? Jaw. Look, just close your mouth. All right, thank you. That's good. That's slightly to the right. All right. Have you ever had any history of fractures on your body? Wala pa po. Let's keep it that way, okay? Yes. How about any dislocations? Wala po. Very good. Now, other injuries. Have you ever had any ankle sprains, ITDS? The, um, no, nag, during the duathlon ako, I think because um, parang nagkaroon ako ng I, oh, what's it? ITDS? Yes. Which side? Left or right? Right. Okay, I'm gonna check it with right ITDS. Ano ba? Right. Okay. Yun Hopefully, yung parang um, masakit na yeah, masakit na. Yeah, nagta-tight siya dito. Na, parang hinihila niya yung kneecap mo. Y- yun yung naging problem po nung nag duathlon ako. Yeah, recently runners has it. Yeah. Okay, so it's good that you told me. Good. Now, when you pedal, which leg do you feel stronger? Is it the left or the right, right. leg? Right leg. Have you ever done big hits or heavy blows in your body? Like you fell on a bike, you fell on a T, you fell on a motorcycle, you got into a car accident. Big hits. Okay. But better not so much na na dislocation. Just okay. ano lang. Uh, left elbow. Lang. Okay. Two years ago. All right. Two, uh, three. Normal. Sa, sa bike. Sa bike, pa-sprint na. Okay. Normal yan. Pero hindi, buti na lang hindi dislocated. Yes, buti na lang, bruises na. lang. That's good. To sino? Hindi naman eh. Nag, ano lang, ah, hindi okay. ko na naalagaan talaga na. Yeah, yeah. Alright, have you played any contact sports? Contact sports? Like basketball, basketball. frisbee, soccer, football? Hindi. Okay. Future cycling goals? Competitive. Yeah, competitive. Alright. Duathlon and more on road racing. Let's see if maka... Ay, ako magsabi ng plans. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Let them, ano lang. Wag muna lang. But Duas currently, lang. my plan is to wag kumalas sa big group. <laughs> All right. Your height is 5'1". Yes. Your weight, please. 50.7. At ako nag-check kanina. Good. Okay. I'll just get something because I have to measure your shoulder. Ang dami, dami nagtatanong sa akin kung paano susukatin yung balikat nila. Pero this is the correct way on how you measure your shoulder, para to know. Oh, ganun lang yun. 
And I mean to cut. Ah, magkaroon ako ng sa editing. No, no. Kasi may start talaga. And the joke. Okay. All right. So, the correct way to measure your shoulder to know the type of weight the bars that you need is not standing like like this or not turning around. The correct way to do this is you put one hand over here like this. Why? Kasi when you're riding the bike, kana kaya nung so para ma imitate natin yung position na kaya nito dapat. Just drop your shoulder and relax. Alright, so 34.3. 34.3. What bars are you using for road bike? Sa road bike, 38. Can you even use it 36? 36. Yeah, for your more narrow. Now, do you wear, yeah, you said you wear lenses. Yes. Pero ngayon, contacts? Contacts po. Contacts. 500, 550. Wow. Now, have you ever had any history of serious diseases? Wala naman po. How about prescribed medicines? Do you take any? Wala naman po. Look, do you have any allergies? Wala po. Do you take any supplements? Kahit vitamins. Wala po masyado nga. Kala ko wala sabihin ko immortal. Wala ka tao na gusto mag-bite. Alright. Dietary addiction. Food that you can't say no. Sweets. Oh my God. I wish. Bawal na rin. Ay, naku. Diyan ako mabilis tumaba. Ako rin, pero ako rin, I love sweets kasi pag tatrabaho ko, it wakes me up. Diba? Kasi yun nga lang, tumataas na yung sugar ko, sumatanda na ako. Ako may history ka na yung papa ko diabetes, so... Ah, kaya nakatakot, mahirap. Which is, yun din yung naging ano ko, one of the, yung cycling motivation ko. Kasi heart, may heart failure siya, diabetes, may mga hypertension, high blood sila, so kaya ako nag-bike. Jackpot. Yeah. Ngayon na, ano ko na sila, na gusto nila mag-workout. That's good, that's good. Next question is, do you drink coffee? Yes. How much coffee do you take in a day? Just once a day. That's very good. Probably you're wondering why, because based on our study, coffee is really good in the body. But the thing is, uh, if you're if you're drinking more than three cups of coffee a day, it puts your central nervous system in a flight or fight mode. Na wawak siya, para masyado siya agitated. Kaya nangyari at the end of the day, parang you're sobrang wasted, pagod na pagod. At the same time, pag nangyari yon, your central nervous system mo, uh, it doesn't know what to do. Usually, nangyari, it com it leads to compensation. Kung sa tumatabi ng yung hip mo, one leg becomes shorter. Yeah, so we're gonna check that later. Good, it's good that you drink. You're taking just one lang. How about tea? Did you drink tea? Pag medyo tumataba na ako. So pag ko nare ngayon, pag nagda diet na ako, I switch to tea. Okay. Kesa coffee. Alright. So does. Yeah, you said yes. Pero hindi. Not every day. Very minimal, less than a glass of coffee. Power rings. These are like little Lipovitons, Monster, Red Bull, stuff like that. Wala masyado sa ngayon, pero I've tried Booster C kahapon. Pero hindi ako dependent. Okay, that's it. Alcohol? Um, hindi na masyado. Good, that's good. <laughs> drink milk? No. Alright, the reason why I'm asking you dairy intake, because as Asians, we are known to be lactose intolerant. Mm. And the uh, lactose is very effective in the gut. And the gut has so many nerves. Ano na nangyayari, pag naapektuhan, nagka-effect yun sa katawan mo, may effect din sa overall movement ng katawan mo. Okay. Okay. So, milk zero cheese. Next. Sakto lang po. Alright. Yogurt? Hindi masyado. Alright. The next most important question, do you stretch every day? Well, recently, part of the self-refest plan may yoga. Alright. That's good. Keep doing it. Pero the past three days, no? Kaya medyo siguro hindi rin natin. Time. Alright, so we're done with the interview. Okay? You'll be the one riding that beautiful time trial bike over there, okay? You're the one pedaling. You're the one sitting on it. You're the one who gets to feel the discomfort and pains, and you're the one who understands your body. Yeah. What I can do as your fitter is to put you in a position where I can see is functionally correct for your body. Okay. But I don't want to be the one dictating the position. Okay. I want to make sure that the position I'm putting into is something we both agreed after trying out several possible combinations of position na yun yung nakita natin na perfectly suited for your current fitness level and your riding goals. Okay. Why? Why did I say riding fitness level? Uh, since this is, will be your first time to ride a time trial bike, yes. so it's expected na medyo 
maninibago ka. Yes. So I don't want to put you in a really mm. super aggressive fat. Although that's what, want, what that's what we want to happen for you to really look good on the bicycle. Yes. But I don't want to force you in a position na may hirapan ka. The reason you're here is that we want to make sure you're comfortable on the bike at the same time for you to be able to enjoy the bike more. Yes. Okay? So the main goal mo natin is titingnan natin kung hanggang saan muna yung capability ng katawan mo. And then if we want something faster, more aggressive, probably leading before the race, as you work on your fitness level, improve your core, your overall strength, we will be able to put you in that target position. Now, if we want you to be a super aero time trial okay. looking position, yes, that's possible. But ayokong ayo pinipilit yung mga clients ko in a position na dapat gano'n yung itsura mo, pagtsagaan mo yan. No. Yeah. Sa akin, I base it kung ano po yung kaya ng katawan nyo. More on kasi, I mean, bike fitting din kasi is more on power uh, and comfort. Yes Tama po, po. kailangan balance yeah. po. And it's functional stability. It's the, the most important thing is yung functionality mo sa bisikleta. Hindi pwedeng you look so good, pero you can only ride it for 10-20 yeah. kilometers. Then afterwards, makikita kita nasa base bar ka na kasi ah, sakit ka ng katawan ko. Which is currently ganun ngayon. Yes. Ang gusto ko is to, to make sure na when you're on the bicycle, if you're doing to do 100 kilometers, 95% of the ride, you're on the time trial, the, the TT position. Kasi so, that's what it's meant to be. Yeah. Okay? Good. So, going back, uh, if there's something that I need from you today, since you're the one riding, that will be your full honesty and cooperation. Okay. Why? Push out. Yes. Thank you. Go. Heavier. Thank you for the aspiring bike feeders. Okay. All right, thank you. We're done, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank I'm gonna torque everything, okay? Woo! Ay, wow!